Hi guys, today we are going to do some wedging, preparing our clay before going on the wheel. Um, it's to even out the consistency of the clay so that the moisture distribution within the clay is nice and even for going on the wheel. So um, I will put the camera down so we can have a look. This is called ram's head wedging because it will kind of end up looking like a bit of a ram's head, hopefully. Okay, so let's have a look. Get the camera in the right position. So I've just got a pretty irregular kind of shaped ball of clay. So I'm just gonna kind of like just even it up a little bit. And I'm just going to cup my hands around the clay. And I'm just going to, keeping my thumbs kind of together, do a gentle roll forward. Now I'm not stretching it really far forward, it's just a gentle roll forward. And then I'm gonna bring it back towards myself so that it's right up on the tip. The bit that was down the bottom of the clay is what I'm gonna roll it back up onto. I'm gonna reposition my hands and give it another just little push and back up onto what was this bit the very back bit of the clay, take it back up onto there. That's going to become the nose of the ram's head. And another gentle little roll forward and back up again towards myself. Gentle roll, back towards myself. Gentle roll, back towards myself. I'm putting pressure on the sides here with my palms to keep it from becoming a big long sausage. So I'm containing the clay there and gentle roll forward. Back up gentle roll forward. I'll chill it from this angle as well. Gentle roll forward. So you can kind of see I'm just doing a just a little a gentle push. I'm not stretching the clay, just a gentle push. Gentle push forward. And it's called ram's head wedging because hopefully when we've done that a few times we'll get something that looks a bit like a ram's head. So that's kind of what we're going for. Now, the spiral bits which were, would be his horns are being contained by my palms. These bits where his eyes are, are where the balls of my hands were, down from my thumb. And then the nose part begins to emerge from in between my hands. And that's what we're coming back up onto all the time, coming back up onto his nose. And then reposition, gentle roll forward. And it is a practice thing. And we're not squishing the clay and we're not stretching it out a long way. It's just a little gentle rock. And then up onto its nose, all the way up onto its nose and a gentle rock. Up onto its nose, gentle rock up onto its nose. And then when we've done that, once you get the, the rhythm of that and you've done that for, I don't know, a couple of dozen times, we don't want to do it too much because we are losing moisture to the table. And we don't want our clay to be too dry for the wheel. So then when we have done that and we've got that kind of reasonably nice ram's heady kind of a shape, We'll roll his nose in now. So we're just going to just gently roll it in. It's only a gentle roll because we don't want to roll it into a big long coil. So it's just a gentle roll to roll that nose in. And so now I've got these the spirals on the edges. So we're going to tap them in on a bit of an angle so that we end up with a point. And we'll do that on both sides. And then I'll just tap that point out a little bit. And onto the other side. And tap that point out a little bit. And then we're just going to hit it into a nice round ball. Roll it on the table, whatever you want to do to get it into a nice round ball. So it's an even shape for the wheel. As symmetrical a shape as you can get. Just makes it that little bit easier to centre your clay. So that is ram's head wedging 
for the wheel.